Good afternoon and good evening to my beautiful pen friends and welcome to another episode uh, with pen friends. I'm your host Andrew and I'd like to welcome you to the show. Okay so let's uh, talk about this brand uh, Santini Italia. Uh, Santini Italia are a small family run company out of Italy and one which if you haven't heard of should definitely be on your radar. Now I purchased a pen back in uh, January uh, January February time and it was exhibiting some issues however uh, with their exceptional customer support um, thank you uh, we exchanged a few words we tried a few methods um, to try and rectify the pen but um, unfortunately it's it wasn't it wasn't to be um, so they suggested to take the pen back and they would uh, check it over which they did and I've now received it back and that's what we're going to be looking at today but before I go on I just want to talk about um, custom, about customer support customer support to myself is probably the most important thing about any company whether it's uh, pens cameras art equipment freezers <laughs> cookers or so on and so forth now uh, <laughs> I know this is going to um, sort of diverse a little bit away from fountain pens for a second, but a little while back we ordered a cooker from a, a local electronics um, store and well electronics and white goods uh, store I should say. Unfortunately the sales uh, person in there really didn't have any clue. I mean he admitted that he's not a cook, but whether you're a cook or not you should understand your products which you're selling. Now, I could understand if I perhaps had gone into a larger chain shop where uh, it was um, Saturday morning staff, perhaps teenagers or young adults in university. They're just there to earn a little bit of cash to get themselves through university. So that's fine. I've got no issues with that. But when you go into a specialised store and you're met by someone who really doesn't show very much interest in either selling the goods or has any understanding of the goods, one does have a, uh, <laughs> a a reserve in mind in terms of their actual ability to to sell a product. Um, it's certainly not one which um, I've really experienced much. Fortunately, you know, I've, with my other uh, hobbies being like photography and such forth, um, I've had really good experiences. But it was very disheartening to go into a shop only to be told that oh, I'm not a cook. I don't really know much about uh, cookers, essentially, in a manner of words. But having said that, that, we're not talking about cookers today, we're talking about uh, pens. So Santini, um, yes, wow. Okay, so I've just received the, uh, the pen back today and I shipped it in my glasses case, which I've received back, which is great. But look at this, they shipped it back with a, a free pen pouch. I mean, how wonderful is that? How wonderful. Now. I wanted to um, basically put on hold my review of the pen, primarily because I didn't feel it uh, to be fair to review a pen at its current state. It, it, it wouldn't have been a particularly favourable review. However, in light of their um, exceptional customer support, I thought I'd hold off for a while. So, hold off I did. And yes, I've received the pen back. Now, one of their initial suggestions one of their initial uh, suggestions was to try and change the ink. So I did that. I bought uh, some ink. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't resolve the issue. So um, I got in contact with them and said, sorry, the, the ink's not actually doing what it's supposed to do uh, with the pen. They said, OK, no problems. Um, would you like to send it back? So I did. Sent it back. They paid for all the postage, which <laughs> I actually thought was just absolutely fantastic. Um, I mean, that must alone cost them a fair amount of that money. But it's through these little um, gestures which keeps um, customer loyalty. And I will certainly be um, considering them for um, future projects uh, which I have in mind. And what else came? Well, what else came back? Not only did the pen come back, but this ink came as well. I mean, how beautiful is that? It's got a nice little bit of uh, string around there. The Santini um, logo. Now I don't think they produce the inks. I think they just fry them in and then uh, bottle them up themselves. But I mean, this really does show how exemplary um, their customer service is. 
and I think this is one of the most important aspects. When you buy a product, you want to feel like you're being supported, whether it's a camera. Um, a good example would be the fact that Fujifilm um, release updates time after time for at least um, a generation of um, next cameras to come. And you feel very much supported and they listen to their customers. And when you get a company like that, no matter what issues you have with the product, that really is a telltale sign of a company which shows passion um, and empathy towards their customers and a drive to try and further their actual um, services. So let's um, just uh, hop over. We'll take the pen out of the sleeve. We're actually going to fill it up with this ink today. I was going to fill it with uh, Pelican Edelstein Tanzanite, but uh, as we've got this ink, why not? So without further ado, let's go over and uh, have a look at uh, this pen in um, more of a close-up. Okay, so as you can see, we've um, got our pen, pen pouch, and our ink here. And so if we just take our ink, uh, you can see that it's beautifully appointed with the, the string. Now, one thing which did also come was this uh, envelope. And inside, we have got this test sheet. Uh, so nib test, your nib has been checked for writing, Andrew, Santini Italia. So now if we open this up, you can see the 10 has been thoroughly checked and we've got a nice little thank you note uh, along with a uh, little explanation of what the issue was and a few um, sort of marks showing the, the flexibility of the nib. This really um, does give me a little bit more, uh, what's the word, peace of mind. So let's take our pen uh, and take it out. And as you can see, this is absolutely fantastic. Uh, just look at that. That really is a absolutely stellar pen. Right, so here we go. This is uh, the Libra edition of uh, Santini's uh, range, which is um, approximately in the middle. They do have other models as well, as well as uh, limited editions and pens in Evernight. But let's have a look at um, this pen. We have got the uh, amber finish, which is a semi-translucent um, finish, and it really is a stunning material. Uh, as you can see, when we move the pen around, you're seeing these sort of different layers of uh, specs going through the material, as well as um, a semi-translucent um, design which allows you to see through to the piston. This is a absolutely a beautiful, beautiful material, and with the gold trims, I think that really just sets it off. So if we have a look at the top, we have got a piston filler, which, um, in comparison to other piston fillers I've used, um, it is a, a slightly longer um, piston turn uh, so you do have to introduce a, a few more turns into it but for the price which I've paid it doesn't really bother me at all um, considering this is a family business okay so let's have a look at this um, top of the uh, the finial we've got this uh, beautiful sort of pointed finial which um, comes up to a point and then underneath we've got our 18 karat gold uh, nib Santini do provide a, a whole plethora of different uh, nib choices. Um, I believe ranging from fine up to um, abroad, uh, including different uh, grinds should you uh, wish to have, say, like a cursive italic, or uh, you can even get um, fine flex and uh, a super flex as well. Uh, I opted to go for the fine flex, which uh, is what we have on the pen today. And um, having received the pen back uh, to have the, the Evernight feed changed, it is really now um, absolutely beautiful. Uh, it writes flawlessly, it doesn't skip, it doesn't have any issues with any hard starts, it's brilliant. Unfortunately, um, sometimes uh, in any manufacturing, uh, you will always get one or two <laughs> samples which don't quite make it through uh, the, the production line as perhaps the manufacturers would like. But anyway, um, here we go. We've got our nice bottle of Santini Blue Ink. Um, I don't know if there is a special name to it. It doesn't say it on the bottle, but we'll just give this a quick fill. And I'm doing this as a voiceover, so you won't actually hear the ratchet at the end, but you'll know when it comes to the end. Uh, so now that that's filled, 
we're going to move on to doing a, a drawing sample. And today I thought we'd do a cottage uh, with uh, some weeping willows and a little lake. So join me over on to the next section. Okay, so as per usual, I'm going to be setting the majority of this section to music and um, you'll be able to see how well this um, pen performs, both with uh, using it in a conventional way, which you are seeing right now, and also using the reverse of a pen. Uh, as an artist, I've, I've said this in my previous videos, having the ability to actually reverse draw um, and reverse write does give me a lot of scope in terms of um, being able to be a bit more free form with how I draw. Anyway, enough rabbiting on and sit back, please enjoy uh, the drawing for today and I shall see you in the overview section in a minute.
Okay, well, thank you for um, bearing with me, and I hope you enjoyed the drawing sample. All my drawing samples um, will always be sketches. They're not going to be masterpieces, but um, hopefully that gave you a little bit of um, the ability to see how well the actual um, nib performs, uh, both in the reverse and in conventional ways of um, drawing uh, and writing, I should say. So overall, let's talk about the pros and cons of this um, Santini pen. First of all, price, pro. Absolute pro, um, 269 euros for an 18 karat gold, flexible nib, handmade, small family business, you really can't um, beat it to be honest. Um, yes, there are other manufacturers out there, yes there are a lot of other manufacturers producing handmade pens in the same price bracket, but none of them, as far as I know, produce a pen which has got um, a handmade nib. It's just pretty much unheard of these days. So, Santini, big pro. Things I'm not quite so sure about. As I say, I'm not 100% um, keen on the semi-translucency. It doesn't hugely bother me, um, but it would have been nice had it been a bit more um, opaque uh, for my tastes. These are aesthetical um, decisions and should no way sort of reflect on the actual craftsmanship of the pen. But... Yes, um, I do love the gold band around there. Some people have said uh, in comments that they think it's a little bit too much. For myself, I like it. But again, these are all personal choices. The only thing I would improve about um, the actual uh, design, and it's not anything which particularly uh, narks me at all, but uh, it's one thing which I would like to um, add, is just a simple gold band just above where the actual um, threads are on the uh, pen uh, cap, for the, sorry, on the, the, the section for the pen cap, I should say. But overall, you know, it's it writes, it draws, it does everything which a pen should do. And on top of that, you have got incredible, incredible customer support. So, Katerina and family, thank you so much for looking after my pen. And I hope, uh, this has been informative for everyone. If there's something which I have missed out and you have got some questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you uh, enjoy the content which I'm producing, do consider um, subscribing to the channel. Um, I am going to be trying to push out um, one or two videos each week, sometimes more dependent on how busy I am with at work. So thank you once again, and I shall catch you in the, the next video. Till then, have a wonderful day and stay safe.